You cannot talk about American football and not acknowledge the everlasting impact of black culture, especially this year, where both starting quarterbacks are young, gifted black men. And just like you, I love to see it. Yet, with the release of my new book, Bet on Black, the good news about being black in America today, I'm a little bit obsessed with the notion of black folks occupying main character energy and being centered in all spaces. Now, while it could appear that two black starting QBs in the title game establishes the centeredness I'm talking about, let me assure you, it does not. Not entirely. Now, to be clear, Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes leading these teams on the field is an important, essential step in the right direction. Because I'm old enough to remember a time where it was a prevailing thought that black men didn't have the intellectual capacity to even play quarterback. Yeah, for far too many years, black superstars were told that they should not be at the helm playing quarterback. Instead, they were regulated to be wide receivers or running backs because coaches, general managers, and team owners collectively agreed that only white men had the intellectual capacity to play QB. So I guess being white was required to read and execute the plays at an elite level? I don't think so. So yes, quarterbacks on both sides of the football is a good thing. But I'm not satisfied. And I won't be satisfied until I see the numbers start to reflect the actual value and positioning of blackness in this league. Now we know that 60% of the players in this league are black and 60% of the bodies Competing every Sunday, enduring concussions, risking CTE and other inherent risks to their systems, black. And so I need the highest level of leadership to reflect that same 60% ratio. And no, quarterback is not the highest level of leadership in this business. See, quarterbacks cash checks, big checks, but they cash checks. I'm talking about who decides who even gets a check, and I'm really talking about who writes the check. So I need to see 60% of coaches in this league be black. I want to see 60% of general managers in this league be black. And yeah, I want to see 60% of the people that own teams in this league to be black. Now, if you're counting, right now, we've got exactly two black head coaches. And depending on the count in the day, maybe six or seven general managers. Oh, and team owners? Zero. Zero. Now, that level of black disparity at the executive level is unacceptable. And while we absolutely will and need to celebrate the history being made by Pat Mahomes and Jalen Hurts, we also need to keep our feet on the league's neck. And we must require them to do better when it comes to elevating blackness at the very highest levels of executive leadership.